Now the next thing that we want to do for our Teachable store is set up our custom domains. We're just going to click here because it does walk us through step by step exactly what we need to do. And right now it's asking us to set up our domain name. So we're going to just click there. And what I'm going to do is just use the standard teachable.com domain. So I'm going to use yessupply.teachable.com. Now, if you want to go a little bit more advanced, you can also use your custom domain. So maybe if I wanted to use just yessupply.co and use teachable as my main school, I could set up a custom domain and there's instructions here to allow you to do that. But I'm just going to keep it simple on myself and use yessupply.teachable.com. So when that's all ready to go, I'm just going to click on the the confirm domain button and it says awesome my domain has been set up and then I can easily return back to my dashboard and last but not least I'm getting ready to launch my school